man is born free but everywhere he is in chains it's a resounding words of a geneva born political philosopher g jacques rousseau man is born free man since the birth of his childhood he or she preconditioned and these preconditions curtail the physical freedom bal gangadhar tilak said freedom is my birthright and i shall have it that shows that one we have to always fight for our rights this is is long 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 time once is the tribal system the tribal chiefs system and then the kingdom started then empires and then man started a kind of slavery a slavish life and then came the imperial life many of the countries especially the european countries like portugal the dutch the britishers they wanted to expand their business in different parts of the world and they were conquering the parts of the world subjugating bringing the people under their control with lots of tyranny and also they were harassing people so that they will fall before the feet of the britishers so this way the man is subjected to many of the preconditions of course man is born free but he is chains because of so many other constraints that shows that the governments the dictators and many other things curtail the physical freedom of the natural born people and so freedom where are you freedom is a dream to come from caesar to hitler mussolini and kim in korea at present the fundamental rights are always endangered nelson mandela languished in prison in south africa has he raised his voice against oppression suppression exploitation and the apartheid policies of the britishers abram lincoln fell to the bullets as he spoke about equality to the blacks and the white apartheid practice for a long time imperial rule let many independent nations to lose their identity and freedom slave trade for a long time now too we find bond labor in one way or the other child right violations violation to human rights sexual exploitations and the so called honor killings now and then we find everywhere freedom where are you now religious intolerance is growing everywhere political power greed for health wealth greed for wealth pelfed power humanity is now an endangered species oh humanity are you human where is your humanity where is your humanity intolerance bias thinking lack of any ideology or morals now we are in such a situation sensitive humans are becoming very insensitive beings like a tiger tasting the human blood man eat man society now we are in people want to exploit for their greed power so under these conditions civil civil liberty movement picked up everywhere and russo touched and aroused these feelings for liberty equality and fraternity in his teachings man is born free but everywhere in chains that caused the russian revolution the the french revolution karl marx gave a call workers of the world unite you lose you think nothing but chains workers of the world unite you lose nothing but chains now and then we hear we came across many valiant 
rebellions, present moments, such as grahas, eye for eye, tit for tot, rebellions, the revolutions. They have thrown many of the establishments when these oppressions and suppressions became intolerable for the people and they fought for the rights, they fought for their civil liberties. Human rights are the most important and the declaration of human rights underlines these freedom from discrimination, freedom from discrimination. Nobody should be separated, no should be, should be discriminated. Right to equality, all are born equal, in equal conditions. So why not they grow in equal conditions? Right to equality, right to life. I am born free, let me live freely till my death. Freedom from torture. We should not torture someone. Freedom from slavery. Right to liberty and security of person. Freedom of movement. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights from Article 1 to Article 3 list out the most important human rights which make humans a free, mentally free, physically free so that they can do wonders. At the same time, we also say that one, not only we have the freedom, we have the duties also. We, people of India, people of the world, the global citizens, we implement and we steadfastly implement and follow the duties, what we have to do. At the same time, give me our freedom back and it's human rights, its headquarters, it's located in Geneva. The state and national level human rights commissions are existing as per the law, but it should see that the violations of the human rights to be effectively checked out in time. The Indian constitution, article 25 to 35, ensures fundamental rights. Our six fundamental rights are right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right to constitutional remedies, right to property. Article 31 was there, but Indira Gandhi amended it later and now right to property is no more a fundamental right, but it is a legal right. The judiciary as our custodian, they guard, up, they guard to protect our fundamental rights and now the courts are more busy with these cases of violation of the fundamental rights and because there is rampant violation of the fundamental rights by the, in one way, I don't know whether I have to use it or not, but a kind of terrorism, state terrorism is going on everywhere as people say. So, protect the rights and save the humanity. Thank you very much.